Okay, everyone, so we're going to show you the Comedy Guidelines Strikes Basics. They're kind of a little bit different than the Copyright Strikes Basics is because, like, because, like, they're a little bit different and there's, like, something new on the Comedy Guidelines if it's your first time violating it. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Well, everyone, don't forget, be sure to like the video, comment down below, Turn on notifications and subscribe right now or we will call Vito to hit you with his cool ball. Ha, huh? just kidding. We won't do that. We're kind of talking like it's Owen. Like, we won't do, we won't, we won't do that. We're, we're just pranking you. Plus, Vito is only a toy. He is not a real guy. So, anyways, we are showing you the basics for the community guideline strike basics. So, here it is. So, if you get the community guideline strikes, it's because you violated the community guidelines and then your video was flagged for review. So then, so here's how it works. When your video was flagged for review, YouTube, YouTube determines whether it doesn't or does violate the guidelines. If it does, they, will, they don't delete your video, but they remove it from YouTube. If, if, you, if a strike is issued, YouTube will let you know by email through notifications on mobile and on desktop and in your channel settings. We will, they'll also let you know which content was which it removed, which community guideline policy it violated. For example, violence or adult content, how it affects your channel, and what you can do next. So, so here, so then this is something new that we get, and it's a warning. So here's the warning part of the community guidelines. Well, it's okay. Mistakes happen, and you don't mean to violate the policies. It's okay. Don't don't feel bad and don't cry because if. If it's your first time violating the community guidelines, you'll you'll only get a warning with no penalty to your channel. See, don't worry. Some you mistaken it. YouTube team understands mistakes happen, and you don't mean to violate the policies. So then that's why, if it's your first time violating, you only get a warning. But you'll only be warned once, and this warning will remain on your channel. The next time, your content is found to violate the guidelines, you get a strike. If you think they made a mistake, you can appeal the warning. So, if a second time you violate community guidelines, you get one strike. That means for one week, your access to uploading videos, live streams, or stories will be frozen. So then, full privileges will be restored after the one week freeze, but strikes remain on your channel for 90 days. So, if you get two strikes within the same 90 day period, you can't post content for two weeks. Just know that just know that your full privileges will be restored after the two week freeze, but strikes expire 90 days the time they were issued. And then if you get three strikes, that results in your channel being terminated. That means all your uploads will be deleted and also, you can't create new channels. So, here's what you do. Each strike expires 90 days from the time it's issued, but don't delete the content, because even though you delete the content, deleting the content will not remove your strike. So, if you need to, if you get a strike, you can learn more about the community guidelines. You can appeal the decision if you think they made a mistake. So, it says, YouTube also reserves the right to restrict a creator's ability to create content at its discretion. If your account has been restricted from YouTube or from using any YouTube features, you're prohibited from using another channel to get these restrictions on YouTube. This applies for as long as the restriction remains on your account. Violation of this restriction is continued circumvention under our terms of service and may result in termination of your account. So you've got to be careful when if you violate the YouTube community guidelines because like if you do things that violate the restriction like like things that violate the terms of service then you can get into a lot of trouble so you got to be careful because sometimes they can permanently terminate your account which means like when you if they terminate your account some usually the time they terminate it's for infinity but what we mean by infinity is they terminate it for life well but if you think they terminated it by mistake you can you can submit a form and like asking them to see if they think that they should that they should unterminate your account or keep your account terminated. Alright everyone, so I think you've also 
I bet you also learned from some of the other videos we did, but like, well, not really that, because like, in the 100th video, we were, it was the YouTube Partner Program Eligibility and Tips. But, it was nice, like, so then now I think you'll understand both co both copyright laws and community guidelines, so, yeah, and so, and so, remember to like this video if you enjoyed it by touching the thumbs up button, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions for us, or if you, or if you want to get in reach with us, well, unfortunately, comments are turned off, but if, but, but you can go, you can also go to our discussion page, and you can leave a comment there, and we will reply to you, and be sure to, and be sure to love your comment, and be sure to ring the bell so you can get updates on, on new uploads, and be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel, because some of, some of you are new to this channel, but you may have been forgetting, but anyways, we will see you later with more videos coming up.